Here's a picture of a fertilized egg at the first division stage, the first cleavage. I'll put that there for a reason. Because when you have a fertilized egg, you get one set of genes from the mother, one from the father. All the DNA comes from the mother and the father, but it's a different combination to the mother and the father. It's a unique combination. Your genes came from your mother and your father, but you're different. You have a unique combination. And here's the point that I want us to understand. As that cell divides, no more information is added. So at fertilization, we have a 100% human being made in God's image, unique combination of information. What is abortion? Killing a human being. You know, it's interesting, I talked on that here at the museum a number of months ago, and when I had a meet and greet uh, outside, one of the young girls came to me, and she was a little teary, and she looked at me and she said, you know, I've been brought up in the church all my life. No one ever told me what it really meant that we're, we're made in God's image. I never understood that. And no one ever told me that about DNA and the unique combination. And then she looked at me and she said, what if someone like me has had an abortion? And I said, the Bible says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He removes our sins as far as the east is from the west. He promises to remember them no more. And she had a big smile on her face and said, thank you. Have we raised up generations of our kids to have the right foundation so when it comes to the topic of abortion, they'll have the right way of thinking? 